Hello there, I'm Blintslay42, and welcome to my default Windows 7 desktop with some questionable applications on it. Uh, this is my first HD tutorial walkthrough for static slash noise removal elimination techniques, or at least it's the method that I found that worked. No matter what I've what video I've downloaded that had terrible noise, it at least made it better somehow. Um, I'm recording this at 1920 by uh, 1080. It might look better 1280 by 720, but uh, I'm just going to go with it and hopefully this works out. So if you weren't aware, there are numerous YouTube uh, websites where you basically type in the URL and you can download the video to your hard drive for archival storage or watching them or viewing them later or whatnot. Uh, there's even Firefox plugins that will automatically do this for you. Um, just Google, you know, download YouTube videos and you'll find a bunch of sites if you're interested in doing that. But, uh, okay, right here. Let's play Donner's Crisis Part 7. Cliffhanger for the win is one of, uh, like a squids who's a, an LP or on YouTube. He said he was using Camtasia Studio to try to do the remove noise th through that and sometimes when you uh, turn the mic imbalance of the volume way too high it just doesn't get rid of the noise completely um, but anyway I've downloaded his video it's on my hard drive uh, alright well I've downloaded it to my desktop here like a squid Dino Crisis original with noise so let's see how it sounds shall we Hey, it's like Squid, and we're finally back to some more Dino Crisis. Get in. Uh, oh dear. Right. Uh, we, last time we tried doing this puzzle, but obviously there's a battery missing, and I found it at last. It's in here. I'll remove the battery, and it's a red one. And it's fully charged. I didn't want to know about that other shit. All right. It wasn't terribly bad, but you can definitely notice that there's static in the background. So what we're going to have to do to this file uh, is open it in various applications, which I will get to. Okay, so first off, we're going to go to AVS Video Converter 6. I've uh, gotten into the habit of running any, any and every application as administrator when on Windows 7, or Vista for that fact, whatever. So what we're going to do is import, let's see, it should be in here. No, I, I moved it to desktop, right? There it is. Damn, it's actually a pretty long file, 10 minutes and 53 seconds. So we've imported it, but all we want to do is extract the audio from it. So we go to edit, export audio, and it looks like it's not going to the desktop. So let me just fix that real quick. Okay, and we will save all audio, ignoring trim areas, whatever, mp3, one audio layer, three is fine. I think it's easier to work with WAV files, they come out sounding better. You can convert it if you want. And yes, the longer the video, the longer this uh, whole extraction process will be, obviously. Okay, there it is. Done. No longer needs you AVS. That's basically all I I used you for was to extract the audio file, separating it from the video stream. So what I'm going to do now is open you in uh, Audacity 1.3 beta. You could, you could use the original Audacity, the 1.29 I believe it was, or 2.6, something like that. Okay, so we just open... Uh, back to desktop again, and we're just going to import the wave uh, right here, and there it goes. Pretty quick, because overall it's not that long, T 10 minutes, 53 seconds isn't that bad. Hey, it's like squid, and we're finally back to some more dino crisis. Get in. Uh... So as you can see, the, uh, the the static or noise is still there. So what we want to do is find a segment of this video here where he's not talking to isolate just the background. 
and we don't want to pick up any game music so sometimes you know at the very very beginning of it you'll see this which is essentially nothing uh, you can select drag highlight the section you want go to effect noise removal uh, get noise that will take that selection there go back to effect noise removal again and you can preview to make sure he's not talking and apparently it wasn't long enough. <laughs> it wasn't even long enough to produce an audio response, but that should be fine. Okay, um, this is pretty much the default setup that I have here. You can tweak the noise reduction dBs as much as you need. Uh, but what I want to do... Let's see, I don't want to press OK yet. I do not want to press OK yet. So I've gotten the profile. We are going to control A, select all, or you can do edit, control, select all. Okay, it's not there, whatever. <laughs> I don't know why. Maybe it's in file. No, I don't know. Okay, we've selected all. Effect, noise removal, and now we will push OK because it's highlighted the entire file and it's removing all the segments in the file where that, you know, this little part runs all the way through it and we are in essence removing that see how it dissipated there's a little little bit left over here on the left but let's let's give it a shot here from the very beginning just you know in comparison hey it's like squid and we're finally back to some more dino crisis get in uh oh dear right uh, we, last time we tried in this puzzle, but obviously there's a battery missing, and I found it at last. It's in here. I'll Pretty damn better. All right, so since we finished that, we can now export the file as either a, a wave or .mp3 if you have the lame plugin. I think the beta includes the lame plugin anyway. Before you had to uh, put it into the program folder. What? Anyhow. Let's just go to desktop here. So now with, uh, we'll just call it noise fixed for now. And it's going from MakePeg to Wave because I didn't really need the, the MP3 quality or whatnot. So there's the, the fixed file. Now you can use any video rendering program that you want. Windows Movie Maker, Pinnacle Studios, Vegas. I'm using Vegas here. It's the easiest. Or, uh, how should I say? I've. If you can afford it, this is the program to get. Do, 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 do. Okay, so we're in Vegas now. Um, what we're going to do is import the original on the desktop the original video file the one with the bad static still left in it and I, I'll play that back just for comparison hey it's like squid and we're finally back to some more dino crisis get in uh... alright as you can see the noise is still there so what we want to do is we want to lock the top here so right click switches lock. Now the audio is uh, it's free to be deleted or moved around or whatnot. So now I no longer need to lock the top. Now we just have the video available. We're going to add the fixed commentary we did with uh, Audacity Beta Noise Removal. No, not that one. Right here. Yeah, noise fixed. Okay, there we go. Now, look at the difference. Hey, it's like Squid, and we're finally back to some more Dino Crisis! Get in! Uh... Oh dear. Right. Way, way better. So then what you would do, you know, select the whole region or the entire video file, render as, and then output as your normal, um, whatever YouTube video it was, you know, meant to be. This is a PlayStation game. It's already set for the standard definition, or 4x3, and not the 16.9 high definition or whatnot. 
and then you know mp4 save and you're done I'm Glenn Slayford too. I hope this tutorial helped you out in removing noise or static or you know whatnot.